This tutorial will show you how to personalize your online quiz by using details provided by your quiz takers. For this example, I'll show you how to use variables in a question and on a result slide. When your users open a quiz, you can ask them to fill out a small form. Then you can insert these details into the quiz to make them feel personally involved. First, go to the quiz properties and check Ask for User Information. Now click Customize. These are the fields that will be listed on the form. You can choose which fields to show on the form by selecting Mandatory or Optional from the drop down list. Any info you plan to use in the quiz should be set to Mandatory. Do not ask means that this field will not be shown on the form. If you like, you can also add your own custom fields to the form. Here in the Variable column, you will see the name of the variable that you should insert in your quiz to be displayed to the user. Let's use the Username variable to address the quiz taker by name. Click OK twice to get back to your quiz. Now here in this question, I'm going to add a short sentence that includes the user's name. Note that you should add percent signs to the beginning and end of the variable name. And I'm also going to go to the passing result slide and add the username to the congratulations. To check out how it looks, click publish on the Quizmaker toolbar. Now click publish again. After the quiz is converted to online format, it will open in a preview window. And here's the quiz taker form. Mandatory fields are marked with an asterisk, and users can't continue to the quiz until they enter some info. I'll enter my name and start the quiz. As you can see, my name is used in this question, and after I answer it and pass the quiz, I can also see it on the passing results slide. Did you like this video? Give it a like and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.